Wow guys, don't you just love that sight? People say the graphics in this game are not great, but you know, when you get these kind of moments, early in the morning, the sun's coming up, peeking over some hills, you know, that's when you're loving it, eh? That's when you're loving it, totally. Okay, I'm going to do a quick update video. Um, first, I want to do a couple of shout outs. I don't usually do shout outs, but I bumped into a guy called XL this week, and he was a really nice guy saying he's been in the game, what, a, f a month or so, he's enjoying it. Uh, he's made a, a cook a cook character and he's got some other characters that he has in mind and um, yeah we had a bit of a chat and he gave me some free free clothes I'll show you look you can't really see that well can you but whatever the clothes that I'm wearing in this are free clothes from XL so thank you XL that was very kind of you and it's always nice and I hope that wasn't someone who's gonna attack me um, it's always really nice to meet people from the community I mean uh, I don't really make these videos so that I can be famous or, or anything like that or like to make any money it's kind of a hobby I really like the game and kind of wanted to you know introduce it to other people but it is really great when you do get some feedback from people who have seen your videos and all that kind of stuff so that was great that I bumped into Excel want to do another quick shout out I rejoined um, Koto this week and then uh, like loads of people like loads of people they keep saying why have you joined Koto why do you like Koto and all this kind of stuff like seriously man there seems to be a lot of hate for Koto <laughs> you know and seriously uh, I have I I don't have anything bad to say about pretty much anyone in Koto. Everyone's been really friendly, really helpful. Uh, for example, this week when I rejoined, Retri gave me some fr uh, free armor and he also helped me to start kind of learning a bit of the PvP. Now, I've only really done farming and stuff like that and done things so I can earn a bit of money in the game I've not even really done anything about fighting so I'm a real noob when it it comes to fighting and uh, yeah he was really helpful he basically sparred with me for maybe 10-15 minutes he tried to give me the idea of how you like block and do a perfect block and stuff like that and it's actually it's it's pretty hard, you know, because it's one of those things where well I was finding that I wasn't always getting the block correctly. Because you can block on either the left side or the right side. So I think it's gonna take a lot of practice for me to do that very quickly and very like naturally and smoothly. But it was really great that, that Retri you know, he took a bit of time to try and and help me with that so I just wanted to give a shout out as well to Retri and say thanks for that because uh, uh, it takes a lot of patience you know like when you have a guy who's a complete noob at something then it takes a lot of patience for you to actually explain how to do things and to let them practice and stuff like that so he was really great with that and yeah the general thing with Koto it's like yeah I don't know why they get so much hate like pretty much I I always have a lot of fun in the guild and there's there's a lot of really friendly people who want to help me out you know so I'm pretty happy that I decided that I would go back with them I think the only reason I was kind of doubting that was because um, I was kind of worried after what happened before that I would be like a noob fighter and that they would be like we don't want this guy in our uh, our guild because you know blah 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 he's a noob he doesn't know what he's doing but yeah like I said everyone seems to be really friendly and really helpful so you know I mean in the next few months that's one thing I really want to learn how to do like I've learned quite a lot about farming uh, 
I mean, there's still a hell of a lot that I have to learn about farming. Like, I haven't even started anything with mining, and I think that's a really good way of making a lot of money, and also that's a good way that you can help out your guild if they've got a keep and it gets kind of damaged and you can help them to mine stuff that they need for the the keep and all this so I would say that mining is kind of something I would like to try um, yeah I'm not so hot on the cooking front I've, uh, I've never tried a mage but obviously first I want to kind of learn the whole PvP fighting with swords kind of thing you know I want to try to get half decent I mean when it comes to things like that things like fighting you know that kind of stuff usually I'm not very good right off the bat but if I kind of practice a lot I can usually get pretty okay I would not say I'm that I, I'm ever gonna be like a really amazing fighter but if I kind of practice I reckon I can become a pretty decent PvP uh, you know a pretty okay kind of fighter so yeah, that's what I'm going to try to learn, try to improve my PvP skills, um, yeah, and then after that maybe try and learn some mounted archery, kind of stuff like that, and then in the background while I am doing this I'm going to be like keeping farming stuff, like, so that I can try to improve my house. I've already got about two hundred, uh, I think about two hundred gold, something like that. So I need a bit more so I can upgrade my house, kind of get the next part of my house going. Um, so that's kind of the next thing. I thought it was morning. I thought it was gonna. I thought I thought it was starting to get light. It's actually pretty dark now. <laughs> so yeah. I'm sorry if the video is kind of dark. I thought it was becoming morning but maybe I was wrong <laughs> but yeah so um, oh and also by the way my microphone is going to be sounding a bit funny in this video I've been playing a game called Risen 2 and unfortunately they released that game with a bug where you can't use a USB microphone so I had to uninstall my drivers for my USB microphone so I'm using it like raw like in its raw state just plugged into Windows so the sound is not great so I apologize for that basically it's gonna be it's gonna be like that until either they patch Risen or until I finish the game I played it for quite a long time yesterday like nine or ten hours it's a cool game Whoa. But yeah, so, and I am going to be doing a fishing video. It's kind of funny. Like, no one asked for it. In the last video, I was like, oh, if you'd like me to make a fishing video, just ask and I'll do it. And then I'm like, screw that. No one's asked, but, you know, I'm going to do it anyway because <laughs> it's kind of fun, right? It'll be kind of a jokey kind of a jokey kind of video about fishing in the game. And hey, you know, maybe someone will learn something from it. I was kind of wondering, actually, and I'm going to talk about this in the video that I do about fishing, but I was kind of wondering, with, like, the fish, I was saying that obviously fish are not very good for earning money. You don't really get a lot of, of money um, from that kind of stuff. But still... Um, I was wondering if you're a cook, if you can actually, if that's actually a high quality material. It probably isn't, but I was wondering. It seems like in this game that things like rye and stuff like that are like the high quality th foods that people eat, because that's another thing that I'm going to have to get more into. Like as a farmer, I've I've never really been that concerned about like eating the correct food I mean as a farmer because like a tamer and like if you're a fighter character but all you're doing is killing animals for your butcher you don't really have to worry too much about what kind of food you're eating but when you're doing the PvP then you need to really get into the high quality food right so that's another thing I'm going to have to really improve my knowledge about because I know that there's raw rye that's used quite a lot and there are other things as well but yeah that should be interesting but yeah so it's kind of nice being back in the game you know 
and the new expansion no one really knows when it's coming out but hey hopefully I mean should be sometime in in the next month and I mean it's gonna be crazy when awakening first opens everyone's gonna be in Tindrum it's gonna be funny like I was imagining the first time the server opens and it's awakening I'm I'm going to run right over to Tindrum straight away and I bet there's going to be loads of people in there from every guild you know it's going to be hilarious <laughs> so that'll be pretty cool and it'll be interesting because then it, I'll be able to see if the server like lags out with all those people but I'm pretty sure that's going to be really fun so and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be in this game for the long haul I just um increase my sub again for a longer period so you know I really really like this game like you know I really like sandbox MMOs I'm not I can play some regular fantasy MMOs or whatever but usually I I get bored of them but sandbox MMOs I find really fun um, so this game and also Zion X S Y O N Zion. I'm still playing that game. In fact, I just increased my sub on that game as well. So those two games are, are awesome for sandbox games. Zion is also kind of going through quite an exciting period right now because they're going to be adding some cool stuff into that game as well. So, I mean, that game is not as far on in terms of the community as this game. Mortal Online is kind of busier and more active but I'm kind of hoping that Zion in the future also becomes kind of popular and kind of busy because the ideas they have for that game are really cool okay guys so this was just like an update kind of me blabbing on kind of video I hope you learnt something from it <laughs> and uh, yeah it would be nice to see some of you guys um, in the game Glitchy horse is glitchy. Come on, horsey. Oh, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. Oh, yeah, and by the way, the past few days, Wessex have been in Maduli like crazy. And, uh, yeah, they're back, man. If any of you guys know about that guild, Wessex, apparently, they're back. And I've seen loads of their guys in Maduli, so clearly they are back. See, there's one up there as well. Mm -hmm. And makes me wonder is AQ ever ever going to come back are AQ ever going to come back when Awakening is out do you think that they'll ever ever come back I don't know we'll see and in some you're in my video welcome <laughs> okay guys see you bye bye